You and I both know you've got nothing. Is that so? I say me and my friend's gonna walk out that door in less than an hour. Listen, son, I just wanted to- No, no, you're not gonna get some bullshit confession out of me, okay? We didn't do anything, trust me. Couldn't have you even if we wanted to. All right. Why don't you tell me what happened? Fine. So Chris and I were supposed to meet- For the record, Chris is the other gentleman we brought in. Yeah, can I tell my story without being interrupted? <clears throat> so Chris and I were supposed to meet for a, a job. Hey, what's up, Chris and... Hey, Nat. Chris's sister, Nat, was an unexpected guest. What the... What's up? It's cool, Jack. She's in. You told her? Mm. He texted me. By accident. Look, you guys are both at the top of my favorites list, and I accidentally hit the wrong number, and... And I want in. Yeah, I don't know about that, Nat. You see, like, it's supposed to be as small a job as possible, and I don't even think, holy shit! I figured you guys would be dicks about letting me in, so I'm buying in. Where the hell did you get these? <laughs> I housed it for some dude who has a huge collection. He doesn't even keep it in a safe, he just leaves them padlocked around the house in display cases. How'd you get past the padlocks? You just carry around a lockpick set with you? Do you not? You know, I never really thought much about Chris's sister, but I think I'm starting to get a crush on her. Shit, wait, was that on the record? Honestly, I don't give a shit what Jack has to say right now. He's a treacherous son of a bitch, and he's gonna get what's coming to him. This is our plan in the first place, and then once my sister gets involved, he starts throwing me under the bus. Suddenly, nothing was good enough, even though I'm the one who put everything into place. What the hell is this, man? It's the getaway vehicle. It's a fucking land whale. <laughs> Okay, actually, it's the top of the line sports utility vehicle. Uh, seven seats, leather interior, top speed of 50 miles per hour, liable to roll, very conspicuous. Okay, listen, my friend's uncle has a car dealership and he gave me a great deal, so I took it. You're telling me you spent money on this? The whole point of our thing is to make money, man. I didn't even want to do this. I didn't want to be the driver. You wanted to go in with Nat. Cause Nat has to go in, and who am I to say no? Uh, you can say no. I, no. I mean, it's 21st century, man. Women can rob banks. I'm not sexist. You are a dumbass, though. Hey, screw you. Hey, screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And he said screw you, and then I said screw you, and then he said screw you, and then- All right, all right, I get it. So, this getaway vehicle, you are the legal owner? Well, I, I don't have the title yet, but yeah, I guess. Look, let's make this short. It's all those two idiots' fault. It was all their idea, and yet I'm the only one who managed to do anything right. It was the day of the job, and we were in place, just waiting for the green light. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to it. All right, let's go over this. Security has a rotation in about five minutes. I'll stay here and keep the car running. As soon as guard rotation starts, we're masks up, we move out, get the guns from the back, and we're a go through the front doors. Oh, shit. Looks like it's starting the rotation early. You guys ready? Ready. Jack. 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 Go oh, right. Shit. Sorry. Nat? Where are the guns, Jack? I'm not entirely sure, Nat. That's Chris's gym bag, you dumbass. So? So, you didn't do your job, Jack. Now, we're standing out here in masks, like a couple of jackasses ready to hold up a bank, with no guns to hold up a bank. So? So the job's a bust. Just get back in the car, we gotta get out of here. What the hell are you doing? You're one job was to keep the car on. Okay, well, I didn't take into account the mileage on this thing when I bought it, and we used all the gas getting here. <sighs> so we're stuck here? Well, we're not going anywhere in this. Can I just call an Uber? You really want to leave a crime scene in an Uber? Well, technically, it's not a crime scene since we didn't commit an actual crime thanks to you idiots. It's not like it matters anyway. It's about an hour away. <sighs> Fucking kidding me.
So, Matt, what are you doing after this? That's none of your business. I was just thinking maybe we could grab a coffee, you want to see a movie or something? Ooh, shit, movie sounds good. You want to see that new Fury Force? Dude, that was like, like a date, not like a group. Uh, uh, sort of, no. You've all been strangely cooperative, so I feel like you three deserve to know. I was originally just interested in who was responsible for the illegally parked car. Oh shit. 